Okay, here, let's start part two. The Aldun, the One-Eyed. Two colors, two black for a 3-2 legendary human soldier with horsemanship. That's one of the abilities that people just hate because it's so uncommon, an ability. You can't really get around it. I mean, flyers can block it, but nothing on the ground can block unless it has horsemanship. So, sacrifice Zaudun the One-Eyed, return target black card from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only during your turn, basically only during your first main phase. That's the way it would be worded now, I'm sure. I've never used this, ever. I cannot even remember ever casting him, even on the rare occasions where I do remember drawing him. He's just kind of a, a surprise. Son and Ring. You're probably noticing that I have a lot of colorless mana producers, mana rocks. The idea is to get Kerbeck out as soon as possible. In one game, I actually had him out and turn two. Turn one, some red or black land, I forget what. Tap Soul Ring. Turn two, another red or black land. Um, no, sorry, that was turn three. Turn three was the quickest because I tap the Soul Ring and play the Grim Monolith, and then on turn three, I had the Red or Black Land, I can't remember, Red or Black Land, maybe it was a Swamp and a Mountain, and then that was two, and then I had two from the Soul Ring, and three for the Grim Monolith, so on turn three I untapped, and I was able to cast Kerbeck. I don't think he survived very long, but nobody liked it. <laughs> it was hilarious. The game just goes, Eck! Screeching halt, because nobody wants to cast anything with Kervik is in play. Then you start making deals. Hey, uh, if you cast something that I don't care about, I won't hit you or your creatures. I'll hit him and his creatures, because they seem more of a threat. All right, bet. I'm going to start casting things. Okay, let's keep going. Coffin Queen. Two colors and a black. 411 Wizard. You may choose not to tap her during a tap step. Two colors black, put target creature card from any graveyard and play under your control. Exile that creature if Coffin Queen becomes untapped, or if you lose control of Coffin Queen. So, kind of similar to Helm of Possession, but it pulls them out of the graveyard. And if you untap her, you can exile the creature, so you can deal with it permanently. Um, Pure Recruiter, I really love the uh, Portal 3 Kingdoms art much better, but I got this in my box of MH2, so I kept it. Two colors and a red for a 1 1 human advisor. When he enters the battlefield, search your library for a creature card of power two or less, show it to everybody, put it in your hand, shuffle your library. Typically, he goes to find Kiki Jiki. Cunning Spark Mage. So, this is the um, corollary to Goblin Sharpshooter. Two colors and a red for a 0-1 Hasty Human Shaman. Tap. Deals one damage to target creature or player. Another um, guy waiting around for the bus uh, Bass's Collar to come out. So we can get collared and really start doing some damage. Swamp. Command Beacon. Now with Kerevek, if you build Kerevek, you're going to have to assume he's going to die a lot. Um, nobody likes to see him on the battlefield. None of your opponents unless you're making deals, and then they don't like it, but they're willing to live with it. So you need ways of recasting him, hence the Mana Rocks, Cabal Coffers, Urborg, or ways of getting him back into your hand, so you don't have to pay 9, and then 11, and then 13 to keep recasting him, because he does start at 7. So Command Beacon, add Colorless to your Mana Pool, or Sacrifice Command Beacon, Put your commander into your hand from the command zone. So if he's gotten up to plus four, plus six commander attacks, yeah, I'm popping the beacon and dragging him back into play. This is one of the newer additions to the deck, Blood on the Snow. So this replaced um, one of the board wipes I had. I can't remember which one I took out. But four, black black, choose one to destroy our creatures or all planeswalkers, and then return a creature or planeswalker with mana cost, ah, oh, yeah, that's why you still have the uh, Snowlands. 
Yeah, it makes sense now. Hmm. Then return a creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost X or less from graveyard to the battlefield. X is the amount of snow used to cast blood on the snow. So if you spend six snow mana to cast it, you can get anything for six or less. Okay, a skull clamp, one cast as artifact, one to equip, equip creature gets plus one neg one, and when the equip creature dies, draw two cards. So another way of using the tokens. Full Minator Mage, one with two black red hybrid, two two elemental shaman. Maybe I should do something with all the shamans that I have. I've got a lot of shamans in the deck. Something to think about. Sacrifice full mineral mage, destroy target non-basic land. So I was just complaining about people blowing up some of my lands, and here I have a way of doing it back to them. Yes, I am a jerk. Gravecrawler. So one black for a 2-1 creature that can't block, a zombie. You can cast him from graveyard as long as you control the zombie. He's really in here just as a recurring creature. Um, something I can keep popping off with uh, Goblin Bombardment. Um, something I can keep sacrificing to my sacrifice effects. Helm of Possession and so on. Kolrath the Ritter. <clears throat> so this is Kolrath the Knight. He is a 3 casting cost with 2 red or 2 black hybrid. 3-3 three, three flying elemental knight with Wither. And creatures your opponents control with counters on them cannot attack or block. So if you've got some way of putting counters on your opponent's creatures, they can't do much with them. Another card people really don't like. Urberos, God of the Dead. Three and one black for five seven legendary God. Indestructible. And of course, along with devotion to blacks less than five, he's not a creature. Your opponents can't gain life. That's uh, usually very useful in Commander. Usually somebody has some kind of life gain deck, and this will put a stop to it. And it's also you can spend your life to draw a card. One colors from black, pay two life, draw a card. Do it as many times as you feel like, when you have the mana and the life to do so. Blood Artist. One colorless, one black. Whenever he or another creature dies, target player loses one life, and you gain one life. As a 0-1 vampire, he's not that impressive, but it's nice to have him sitting around as you start killing things. So, gratuitous violence. 2-3 red. If a creature you control will deal damage to a creature or player, and it doesn't have to be combat damage, keep that in mind, it deals double the damage to the creature or player instead. So, I can't remember the name of the card, but there's a new card from one of the new newer core sets that does triple damage. I should replace it replace gratuitous violence with that card but I just don't want to because I own a foil gratuitous violence and uh, the deck works pretty bloody good so yeah, it's an idea probably one I'm not going to act on but uh, something I'll think about from time to time Rectus Carnarium comes to play tapped when it comes to play bounce a land back to your hand tap add black and red to your mana pool Here's another card some of you might not have seen before. Frexing Purge. Two colorless, black, red. Pay three life per target, destroy any number of target creatures. So as long as you have not taken a lot of damage or you've been gaining life, uh, this is a good way of pinpoint destroying creatures that are problems to you. Here we go. Perforos. Got the Schmied. Everybody should get a foil one, but they're... About 30 or 40 euros in German. Anyway, so Perforos. Three colors and a red for a 6-5 legendary god. Indestructible. If your devotion to red is less than 5, he's not a creature. Whenever a creature comes into play under your control, Perforos does 2 damage to all of your opponents. So if he's a creature and you have gratuitous violence, that's 4 damage. Something to uh, to keep in mind. The ability where you spend two colors and a red and creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. The fire breathing ability. Mass fire breathing. I've never used that. Ever. In fact, usually I, I forget it's there. 
Dockside Distortionist, another new card in the deck. So one colorless, one red for a 1-2 Goblin Pirate. When he enters the battlefield, create X treasure tokens. Rex is a number of artifacts and enchantment to your opponent's control. So he's here. As soon as I saw him, I thought, okay, I need to get one for Karavek because the treasure tokens are nice to have sitting around in order to recast Karavek, which I will inevitably have to recast him at some point in the game. Ancient Tomb, tap, add two colors to your mana pool, take two points of damage. Here we go, Basilisk Collar. One cast six artifact, two to equip, a crook creature has death touch and lifelink. So on Goblin Sharpshooter, this is very nice. I'm just gonna kill everything. Da, 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 oh, they all die. And I gain life. Thank you for playing. Basalt model, another mana rock. Three, tap at 3D mana pool, spend three to untap it. It's <laughs> it's kind of an interest-free loan when you think about it. Cost three, gives you three, cost three to untap. Anyway. For Gold at Lotus. So Gil of Lotus, five, at three color three mana, if any one colored your mana pool. So either three black or three red, that's what I'm going to get. And it's just so pretty. I love Martina Pilterova's art. Murder's Red Cap, another fun creature in the deck. Two colors, black, two black red hybrid for a two to Goblin Assassin. Comes to play, deals damage equal to its power target to your player. And it has persist one. It so comes to play, does two damage, dies, comes back, does one damage. Unless you have ways of pumping it up. Like gratuitous violence. Goblin Bombardment. Way to get rid of the red cap so he comes back and does another point of damage. So one colors, one red, sacrifice creature. Goblin Bombardment deals one damage target creature or player. Great with Army of the Damned. Lightning Greaves. So this is here to protect Karavek. Two colorless equipment, zero to, to equip. Creep creature has Shroud and Haste. I don't care about the haste. All I care about is nobody can target Karavek and kill him. Because they will. Bunch of uncooperative schmucks. Rocky Tarpit. As I've often said, I really wish Wizards would complete this cycle. So we only have the allied fetch lands from Mirage, the ones that come into play tapped. And then you can go search for a swamp or mountain for sacrificing it. I'd really like to see the enemy colored ones. Commander players would eat them up, I'm sure. Modern players, they why would I play that? It comes into play tapped. Swamp. Vampire Hex Mage, um, Planeswalker Killer, two black for two one first striking vampire shaman again, another shaman. I need to do something with that. Sacrifice her, remove all counters from target permanent. Bye bye Jace, bye bye Renan Sexy, bye bye Lord Windgrace, and definitely bye bye Amanatu. You're not staying on the board if I've got a hex mage. Hell no. Grey Merchant of Asphodel, 3 and 2 black for a 2-4 zombie, comes into play. You drain each opponent equal to your devotion to black. So if you've got 5 devotion to black, everybody loses 5, and you gain that much life. Rectos Charm, black red, choose 1, exile creature, all cards, exile all cards in target player's graveyard, or destroy target artifact, or... Each creature does one point of damage to its controller. So if I don't have a lot of creatures, but somebody else does, and they look like a threat, I can say, uh, hey, all your creatures punch you in the face. All of them. Pow. Take it. High market. No, you will not be sourced to plowshare my creature. I'll sacrifice it myself. Swamp. Kokusha, the evening star. Six for five high flying legendary dragon spirit. And when he comes to the grave when he goes to the graveyard from play, each opponent loses five life and you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Very good in this deck. Cabal coffers. Two tap. Add black for every swamp you control. Obviously, 
best if it's paired with Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. Nick those Shrine to Nyx. Add one color to your mana pool or spend two. Choose a color. Add to your mana pool um, mana of the color equal to your devotion to it. So if you have devotion to black equal six, two black, two colorless tap, you get six black mana. Therefore, you're netting four. Obviously, better as the game goes on. Graven Cairns. So I've got this version because it just fits the deck. The deck is Pain, the deck is Black, Red, Suffer, and Shamans, again, Shamans, <laughs> of Care Singer claim that there is seven sets because it can no longer bear the gaze of those pain-carved cliffs. So Filterland. Take a black or a red, turn it into two black or two red or a black and a red. Recto Signet, two colors. To cast, one tap, add black and red to your mana pool. Fomp. Full take key. Here's a way of untapping the Basalt Monolith or that Grim Monolith. One to cast, one tap, untap target artifact. Micaeus the Unhallowed. Three and three black for a 5-5. Five, five. Intimidating legendary zombie cleric. Every human deals damage to you, kill it. Other non-human creatures you control get plus and plus in heaven dying. So, he's a human. So, Micaeus does not do anything with Karavak. But he does with a damn near every other creature in the deck. I don't think I have any other humans in the deck. I'd have to check Coffin Queen to see what she is now, but I doubt she's a human. She's probably a zombie. Massacre Worm. Three and three black for six five worm. Comes into the battlefield. Creature your opponent control get neg two, neg two until end of turn. And as long as he's in play, whenever we and your opponent's creatures die, they lose two life. The more creatures you can kill, the more profit you can make. Meta Vault. One. Cast it. Tap. Add three. If you don't spend four during your upkeep to untap it, you take a point of damage. Or you just Hit it with a Voltaic Key, don't tap it. You know, options. Shattering Pulse. One in a red, buy back three, destroy target artifact. So, end of the turn, I spend five, I blow up an artifact, put this back in my hand, and you know I have it to do it again. Don't make me do it again, because I will. Chandra, Flame Caller. <clears throat> I often think about taking her out of the deck. Hmm, I think my camera's about to die. So I'm going to shut this 